What is the easiest way to make a million dollars? Invest a billion dollars in Dogecoin. It'll become a million real quick. It's dropping. I have a 12k loss right now. Give a credit card info to that Nigerian king. I would. But I already send all my money to a Spanish prisoner. He is very rich though. So I'm sure I will have all the money I need. As soon as he gets out. Steve Martin told me how to be a millionaire. Step 1. Get a million dollars. Start with 2 million and open a restaurant. Poof. Now you have 1 million. The best way to make a small fortune in racing is to start with a big one. Junior Johnson. Invent your own currency and also name it dollars. Set the exchange rate as 1 US 1 million dollar new dollar. Get 1 US dollar and convert. Most people will make a million dollars with little problem. If you work for 30 years. That's only about $33,000 a year. The trick is keeping it. Ask a million people for one dollar. Wait. Serious question here how long would that take if you lived in a large city and just walked around asking people on the street or something? If you do that the hours of a regular job. And assuming you can ask a person and get a dollar every two minutes. Which would be insanely lucky. Considering fewer people are carrying around change and not everyone would be willing. That's $30 an hour. $1,200 a week. $62,400 a year. You might as well work a regular job. Not saying that getting a job that pays $30 an hour is easy, but it's worth thinking about how physically taxing it might be, and whether that's worth the pay, that probably differs person by person though. If you're European, collect 2 million plastic bottles. You get 50 lipas for every bottle in Croatia. Comes to 0.080 cents a bottle. You collect 2 million bottles. You get 1 million kunas. I can't do math to save my life, so you'll have to calculate the rest yourself and convert to dollars, unfortunately. Now this is an idea that holds water, it's mind bottling, nah, too many people will just bottle it eventually. Make a dollar, then repeat a million times, easy. The easiest way to make 1 mil is to deposit 5k into an SP500 index fund and contribute 5k a year for the next 30 years assuming historical interest rate. This is why literally any retirement plan, no matter how little you plan to contribute will be life changing once you retire. This is why compound interest is the most powerful force in the world. Isn't Batman supposed to be the most powerful force in the world? They actually work based on the same principle. But Batman is mortal so his time is limited. Given enough time, Batman can beat God, but his mortality limit him. Compound interest don't suffer the same weakness. Many people don't realize what Batman's true value is. It's not the tech or the money. It's the meticulous planning he does to overcome problems. In the USA we have a thing called a 401k plan. I'm sure other countries probably have something similar. It's a retirement plan offered through your employer where a percentage of every paycheck is withdrawn, pre-tax, and set aside. Many employers match a percentage of contributions which is free money. Once you're enrolled in the plan, you have to decide how your money will be invested. There's a lot of options and there's no one right answer, so you may want to talk to a financial advisor if you're not sure what to do, but it shouldn't be too hard to get at least a 10% rate of return. When you inevitably leave your employer for greener pastures, you won't be allowed to contribute to that account anymore. The money is still there and growing. But if you want to contribute to 401k then you'll have to enroll in your new employer's plan. What you can do however is roll over an old 401k into an IRA. You can contribute up to $6,000 per year to your IRA and the contributions are tax deductible. Assuming you work for 40 years and get a decent rate of return on your investments. You should have at least $1 million saved by the time you retire. And you'll have done it automatically with every paycheck. That's what I call easy. Surprised this did not show up earlier. Did just that. Moderate salaries. Wife and I retired before 60. 2M in a well-managed portfolio. Started 401k late. Late 20s. Started married life in teens with nothing. Raised three kids. It can be done. Take out a million dollar loan from some loan shark company. Sure you'll very quickly not have the million dollars anymore and be in debt for the rest of your life. But it's sure easy to do. Write a book entitled How to Make Million Dollars and Sell It for a Million Dollar. People buy blank canvas for millions. Why not this? This is a decent point. 
the average citizen is convinced self-help books will fix all of their problems. Write how to become a millionaire and you'll become one. Following the steps will not. Most motivational speakers who are rich didn't accumulate the majority of their wealth off their previous businesses. They did it off their how to become a millionaire media content and seminars. I have very little respect for Tim Ferriss and Gary VBC they made a modest fortune from their previous endeavors but act as if 95% or more of their wealth wasn't accumulated from just hyping people up and telling them they can do it too while providing no real roadmap of how to do it too. And honestly, they had a product that was slightly ahead of the curve and were one of the ones to hit the market before it became overcrowded. They made good money, but didn't have slam dunk businesses where they could live the lifestyles they do now by any means. They both would still need jobs or businesses today BC their previous businesses already have become unprofitable. It sounds like I'm hating, but I just do not like when I think people are being taken advantage of and that's what I think Tim Ferriss and Gary V does. And Gary V does it with such arrogance. He has a very punchable face and personality. Get a small loan from your father. What about a big loan from someone's small father? Honestly, the quickest and more reliable way to do it for a normal person would be to throw every single penny you can into index funds, S&P 500, Roth IRAs, and your employer matched 401k if you're lucky enough to have one. While even that's a gamble, it's the quickest and most reliable way to do it. Also networking is the way to go if want to earn it faster. You have to be surrounded by people who have done it and or can provide you with opportunities to capitalize on. I have friends who schmoz with the right people and make sh happen. It's weird the personality you need for that. It's a mix of always being on, having the right amount of aggression, and a firm understanding that those people aren't really your friends. But you have to act like they are for as long as you plan to be well connected. The super successful people I know don't only have a few friends. They have tons of friends that require constant tending to in superficial ways. Sort of like tending to a garden, that makes them sound sort of slimy, and many are, but many aren't, they just know the game. I've never fully tried this, but I've never had great luck forming relationships with wealthy and well connected people for networking purposes. It's like I give off a pheromone where they know I shop for clothes at Marshalls and use coupons. You break into Tiffany's at midnight, do you go for the vault? No, you go for the chandelier, it's priceless. As you're taking it down, a woman catches you. She tells you to stop. It's her father's business. She's Tiffany. You say no. You make love all night. In the morning, the cops come and you escape in one of their uniforms. You tell her to meet you in Mexico. But you go to Canada. You don't trust her. Besides, you like the cold. 30 years later, you get a postcard. You have a son and he's the chief of police. This is where the story gets interesting. You tell Tiffany to meet you in Paris by the Trocadero. She's been waiting for you all these years. She's never taken another lover. You don't care. You don't show up. You go to Berlin. That's where you stash the chandelier. Do some freelance work. Earn your reputation. Hire a bunch of interns and make them do your projects. Give them stipends and certificate. Scale it up. Voila 3-4 down the lane you've earned a million dollars. If you want a serious answer, go get a degree in computer science. Work your A off to get top marks. Typical starting salaries at the biggest teach companies are hitting around $150k year for new grads. It only goes up from there. By 5 years in, $300k year total comp is entirely attainable. Then live frugally, way below your means. Many of these companies are currently moving to entirely remote jobs. So you can live anywhere. Live somewhere cheap. Don't pick up any expensive habits, like drugs. Marry someone even more frugal than you. 4 year degree. 8 years working. Yeah you could have a million dollars in your bank account in under 12 years. I suspect this won't be true for much longer. For one. Those scales typically are just based off of Silicon Valley cost of living. Major tech companies are either moving to Austin. TX or are adopting a permanent WFH approach, which means that you will probably see those numbers drop by at least a third over the next three year. If you already make $300k as a developer then I suspect you won't see call adjustments. For another thing, tuition is going up, so that will just be subtracted from your income for however long, unless you learn some decent scholarships. Stop spending money you don't have to spend. 
by used where you can. Learn how to fix things instead of paying someone to do it for you. Look at how much you are spending and see where you can easily trim it down. The most attainable way, get a decent paying job, live below your means, and regularly invest in a diversified ETF. Assuming you don't have any big financial setbacks, most middle class people can get a million dollars in about 30 years. Letting people work for you on minimum wage or don't pay them at all and by not paying taxes. Prohibit worker unions and blame minorities for the misery of your employees, just like the rich people do. And please don't forget to tell everyone once you are rich, how you are a self-made millionaire through your own hard work and how everyone else is just lazy and uncreative. At this point you unlock the achievement pillar of society.